Gargano of Italy, um, 15 to 10 in the round of 32. And then she beat uh, Battiston of Italy, 15 to 10 again. And then she beat Appetit Brunet of France again, 15 to 10. Harlan beat uh, Pasek United States 15-6. Matusek of Poland again 15-6. Number one ranked Basta in the big upset, knocking out the number one ranked Fencer 15-8 in the round of 16. And then Harlan was down 10-13 to, to Balzer of France, came back to tie the score at 14-14 and made a really nice attack and preparation right in the middle to make it into this round, into the semis. So Harlan might be one of the most decorated fencers ever in any weapon, certainly in women's saber. And she's up against Martin Portuguese, who has one gold, one silver, and one bronze in World Cups. But she's on her way up. Well, she's, and let, let's just see how she can do against the, uh, the great Harlan. The referee is Andriana Doana of Romania, and the video ref is Vincenzo Costanzo from Italy. Attack of fair, says the referee, which means it was a beat attack from Martin Portugues. A beat from the right, and then a second beat, and an attack. And the last two touches have been on it. Watch. Beat, one. Beat, two. And attack. Carlon was waiting there in second intention. She drew Martin Portuguese's attack and was waiting. Watch. Watch her wait for the parry. Parry, repost. Referee says the attack from Harlan was parry or post. Some could say it was beat attack from Martin Portuguese, but whatever the case, she takes the blade. Watch. Beat attack. That's a beat attack. Well, that attack from Martin Portuguese was just from out of distance. She was too far away, and it gave Harlan the chance to see what was happening and retreat just enough to make the parry and the repost. Take my word for it, even though we didn't see it there. And that's the first uh, long attack from Carlon. As a it's a long attack. As a fencer, you just don't like being pushed to the end that quickly. So I look for my ten Portuguese to go forward the minute the referee says "ale" or "go." As expected, a straight attack from Martin Portuguese. Martin Portuguese caught Harlan a little bit flat footed there, right in the middle. That's the box, that two meter, four meter zone in between the two on guard lines. Referee says, sorry, it must be a problem again with the wireless. Referee has her game face on, too. 
again, Harlan is waiting for the attack. Second intention. She's drawing the attack and waiting for the repost. Watch for the parry. Well, it's hard to see there. Parry repost. There's a couple times now Harlan has done the same action. Not that time. This time it was a blaster of an attack by Martin Portugues. Beat attack. Been very successful with that. Uh oh. To add insult to injury, not only did Harlan fall down and maybe scrape her hand there, looks like she's looking at it, but the touch also goes to her opponent, Martin Portugues, who now goes into the break with an 8 5 lead. So, uh, so far, what we've seen here is that Martin Portugues has been effective on the attack mostly by taking the blade she likes to take the blade harlan has been effective also on the blade but in a defensive mode when she's doing second intention and drawing the attack and making power repost so it's a game of cat and mouse it's it is noticeable that harlan has only hit on one long attack she seems to not be able to get that extra last little distance so in order for her to be successful in the attack i believe She's going to have to push slowly, push in stages, and push her opponent to the back of the end of her piece, because then you have more options to attack, and the other person has no options to go backwards. It's a huge advantage. But I think as a straight attack, Harlan has not been able to break through, except for one time. Fixing her hair there. Has to be up inside the mask because some of the fencers have long hair. If they let it flow out of the mask over their lame, the electric jacket, that could prevent a blade from hitting. It's covering the valid target. That's why the fencers have to put their hair up inside the mask. Well, Harlan did what I suggested, which was push in stages down to the end, but not enough. She needed to do one more because Martin Portugues was able to retreat just at a distance and score in the counterattack. And a very dejected Harlan did the right tactic, I believe. She pushed and pushed all the way to the end, almost pushed her opponent off the end of the piece. And then she fell short, and she was a dead duck when Martin Portuguese made her new attack. Well, that's an explosive attack by Harlan. Look, right on the hand, a bit of a war whoop. She needs to get back in the spout quickly. Reprise the attack from, says the referee, which means that Harlan initially was short. When she's short, the opponent has a small window to make the new attack. Let's watch. She was short, and it's either the opponent has the right to make the new attack, or the opponent, if the, has the or the original attacker has the right to reprise, make the continuation if the other person didn't make their move. And that's what the referee is saying. The attack was short, but Martin Portuguese waited too long to make her new attack. And that gave the second action or reprise to Harlan. Attack from Harlan. That's three in a row. She's on a bit of a run here. That was a nice touch by Martin Portuguese. Not a nice touch by Harlan. She just made a counterattack with no real plan right in the middle of the piste. The referee's going to look at this because it looked like a, a beat attack, a tackle fair, prise de fair from Martin Portuguese on the right. Let's watch. 
beat attack. And the question is whether Harlan, when she went for the head parry there, blocked it before she got hit. It's either a malparay and she got hit, or she blocked it and made the, the repost. That's what I saw, and the referee got it right. Again, the beat attack by Martin Portuguese. Her actions are on the blade. Harlan has to know that, so she can't give the blade away that easily because she's getting hit on the attack. So what happened here, Harlan asked for review. The attack initially didn't hit there, if you look at the replay. The referee said it's the attack that hit. Let's see what she says after looking at the, at the replay. The attack was no. Initially it didn't hit. We saw the light didn't go on. And that's the beauty of replay. There's a lot of pressure here on the fencers. There's pressure on the referees. These blades are going 100 miles an hour. It's very fast. And once you have the replay, the most important thing is that they get the call right. Taco Fair says the referee again, it's, it's every time Martin Portuguese takes the blade. Harlan went for the counter, the repost again, but that time she missed. Beat attack. That's the attack from Harlan. That's the first sort of mentally lazy touch we've seen Martin Portuguese give away. She gave that touch away basically. Didn't go backwards, didn't parry, just sort of counter attack. Attack from the left, says the ref. Video challenge from the right. Let's watch. It's close. <laughs> Referee maintains the call. It's 12-13. Harlan was sort of out of this bout for a while, but right now it's a coin flip. Pushing. And again, the successful tactic by Harlan. It was not an attack. It was second intention. Her attacks are not working. So she pushed and pushed and pushed until more 10 Portuguese were in at her room, had to attack, watch, attack, parry repost. Went to the well again. Did Harlan look for the second intention repose, but this time Martin Portuguese broke through. She's one away from the gold. <laughs> Referee Doana is going to look at the replay first before making the call. It's very close. So we either have a tie score or we have someone in the gold medal bout. And now we're going to find out what, what it will be. And there it is. The referee gives the call to Martin Portugues, who's into the final against Georgia Du. The video referee is calling the referee over. I think he has a different point of view.
They're conferring. Who knows, we could have a reversal of this call and a completely different outcome. Here comes... Sorry, my mistake. Referee says, sorry, my mistake. Attack for Harlan. Whew. So Martin Portuguese just went from the gold medal bout to 14-14. Can you imagine what's going through her head right now? Not a fun place to be, but it's down to one touch. You've come this far. Martin Portuguese has been winning with the beat attack. Harlan has been scoring touches with the second intention repost. Let's see what they do. Now, both fencers are screaming like they got it. <laughs> um, but here's the rules. It, at 14-14, whether it's one light or two, the referee must look at the video before making the call. And here comes the answer. Attack from the right. The second time is a charm for Martin Portuguese. It was a close call. 